It's the NFL on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Chicago Bears, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 23. Well, they say an early season snowstorm may be on deck in less than 48 hours, but today is picture-perfect fall football weather. Crisp and cool at Soldier Field in the Windy City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the Chicago Bears. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. the punter Trenton Gill now to do the honors and off we go here at Soldier Field taking in at the three the lane opens here he's past the 30 and here comes the Miami offense now and it's the southpaw in his third season at the wheel for the Fins quarterback to a tongue of Iloa the secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys he catches passes with it. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet it before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they would be hard to beat each and every ball game. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well there you go this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Tua going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. from just shy of midfield to a, this one complete to Jalen Waddle, and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 down at the 31. 
Now a give to Mostert running right. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. Holding, offense, offense. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. So yeah, out. just looking the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. Dancing away at the 35. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Caught on the slant. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Partner, are they going to cover him? Well, that's four catches and the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe, is their understanding that they want to go to him and often, but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at him. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. But here come the Bears, and at the helm is someone that they have a lot of hopes for leading this franchise. The 11th pick in 2021 out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, He's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, 
get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. There they run the option on second down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a loss of three. Now a much tougher third down limit. But that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. To throw his fields. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Two are going to throw. And going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain all those 40 yards here. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And his throw is incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Tua. Finds Hill on the crossing route, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. He 
Here's Gaskin. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. On second down, Mostert. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 14. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now. Lumen. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. <laughs> Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Sanders on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Well, when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, 
They've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Field's going to keep it once more. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Throwing on third down, Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. On first and 10, here's Fields. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Again, Fields. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Now here's Trenton Gill now. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. This is what you start. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Go. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. Open man is Waddle complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down at six now from the 42. Again, they will throw it with Tunga Bailoa. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And the Bears will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Let's go, baby. Playmaker, step up right now. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at the 45. Now it's Fields. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Fields. Pass incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. I got you, baby. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Fields. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. I mean, what a play there to make the interception and then also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Sanders now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Pick six last drive. Here's Fields again. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. 
Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. From the gun, here's Fields. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. On second and 10, Fields. Buying time to his left. Fields hit and the ball is loose. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And now off to the races down the right side. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. Charles, they are putting on a show right now. I mean, with that fumble return for the touchdown, you think about the size of this advantage. Heck, it's a four-score game right now, and we're still in the first half. And that has to be the highlight, Brandon, with how infrequently we see fumbles return to the house. But if you are inclined to pick this as the game signature play so far, you do have no shortage of alternatives to select from. This has been nothing short of a clinic. And as noted, we still have a half a ball to play. Sanders on for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Fielded just outside the goal line. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Miami. And their offense has been in top form so far, especially their passing game, as it's helped push them out to this big halftime lead. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they did not have quite the same amount of success in the passing game that their counterparts did, as you get a look at the numbers there. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. 
But CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four possession deficit. And partner, you know, as that team gathers, they send each other. You never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. On second down, a run with Herbert, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game case in point right there. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. Fields pass intercepted by the Dolphins. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there, and there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they can run this score up even further as they begin this drive with a first and goal and that huge lead. They're quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. Mostert. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. On second and goal, Tua. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Two and now, third and goal. Forced out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That will bring up fourth down and an 11-yard loss to Boone. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Sanders kick is good and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position but three points the end result. Yeah we can make this one pretty simple partner you always want to end drives with points but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, 
This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Christian Wilkins there defensively for the stop. Now that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you're not even thinking about them running the football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance and going after the quarterback. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Fields on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Field's going to keep it once more. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop him on third down. Back to throw, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. Off the option, here's Montgomery. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough, still a yard to go on third down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Fields now to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it. And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, 
the defense won. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he is going to have the Bears first down as this defense were a little too loose there. They give up a gain of 19 on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll get that underneath to Herbert. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Bears on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. Here it's third and two. Touchdown, Bears! Chase Claypool, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Santos with the extra point and leads down to 24. Dolphins are going to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 39. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On play action, here's Tua. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. On the 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll run right side with Mostert. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks. And that one ended up going backwards. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This is the type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control.